What's going on YouTube? So I've been uh, surfing YouTube for quite some time now. Um, I haven't posted a video in quite a long time. Last time I did, it was actually for um, you know an item that I had purchased and I thought it'd be cool to make a video. Reason I'm putting this video up is uh, I've noticed a lot of different things occurring. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of new to this whole, you know, filming myself and filming what I do. Uh, so I kind of wanted to put something out there. This is the, you know, every man, simple man, simple, everyday carry items. These are the things that I carry. These are the things that I find useful on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, the whole thing that sparked this for me was wanting to protect myself, my family, my kids, you know, friends, anything that could possibly happen where I'm in a situation that I need to, you know, stop uh, a, a bad situation turning into a worse situation. Not necessarily eliminating a threat because I would never want to do that. If I have to, I will. Um, but, you know, I, I obviously want to make sure that I'm always prepared for that. Um, my mentality isn't you know, to go out and, and hurt and damage somebody and, and create devastation for anybody's family as much as I don't want it to happen to mine, which is why I'm protecting my family. And I believe everybody should. I think that if you uh, are a normal individual, man or woman, uh, single mom, single dad, uh, you know, same sex marriage, anybody and everybody has the right to protect themselves. And I think that that's something that you should value and really take advantage of because somebody would take advantage of you plain and simple given an opportunity they'll come in and create any sort of damage wreak any sort of havoc they possibly can to create a, a bad situation for you and your family so you know all of these items that you see on the table um, are items that i carry every single day there isn't a day that i don't have them you can talk to anybody that knows me they know that these are the items that i have with me it's you know exception for the belt that might change from time to time um, these items I have with me all the time and up until recently this is a new purchase um, you know and which I'm very happy with it I've been to the shooting range I'll go into detail about everything that I have how I carry it you know and, and how it, it plays a role in my life okay so I'll start all the way on the left um, and I'll show you you know where everything starts so I've always uh, been of the mindset of a good quality pair of sunglasses uh, is very important now I've had cheap glasses I've had other brands I've had you know numerous numerous different types of, uh, of glasses um, and these are the ones that have worked the best for me uh, the reason why I don't buy cheap glasses is um, I lose them very quickly and when I know that I have a high cost attached to them I'm more likely to take care of them which I do and my wife will agree you know she was never She's always been opposed to me spending two, three hundred dollars on a pair of sunglasses until she realized I take care of them. The twelve, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollar glasses, I lose them quick. Um, these are just a pair of Costa Del Mar's. I live in South Florida, um, and I do quite a bit of boating and fishing, and I'm outdoors a lot. I do a lot of driving, um, and these are very comfortable. These have this rubber texture down here on the bottom that you know keep them from sliding off of my face, especially when I'm out on the boat. Um, you know, and it keeps them on my face. I've had Oakley's that don't have that and they slide nonstop. Um, these are absolutely amazing. I've never had any issues with them. Um, and I highly recommend Costa Del Mar, whether it's, you know, the Blackfin, which is this model. Um, you know, they've been absolutely amazing. I've never had any issues, like I said. All right. Um, I've always been a smoke. I've been a smoker for almost 16 years now. I quit and I've been vaping for quite some time now. I'm not going to say that I do it continuously and all the time. I do, you know, I do vape and I buy liquids and all that stuff. This is just a small one. This one was actually a gift to me from a coworker of mine who actually quit. Um, so it's actually really small. It's got the tank and two rubber sleeves on there to help keep the glass protected. Um, you know, and it's just a regular uh, uh, vape thing. That's it. Um, over here, um, in my business, I'm always on my cell phone. I'm always uh, running around, I'm in my truck, uh, you know, visiting clients, I'm in my office, I'm always taking phone calls, 
um, you know, getting text messages and so forth. And this is a great way for me to keep on top of that sort of stuff. I hate just, you know, some little Bluetooth thing dangling on my ear. These are the LG HBS 760s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I had the older model. They broke on me. These are ones that my wife bought um, that she ended up not using. So I just basically took them from her and I use them every single day, every single night. Uh, they're with me and they're great. You know, I use them to go to the gym. Um, you know, it's got call, receive, play, pause, volume, switch tracks, all that fun stuff. You know, there's plenty of videos on those on YouTube. Uh, this is just a battery pack that I carry with me. It's either in my briefcase um, or, you know, it's in my pocket or in my truck. Um, these are extremely, extremely useful. You don't know how many times I have three teenage kids and I have a nine month old baby. You have no idea how useful this is when you're, you're out with your family and you need to charge an item and this is in my daughter's stroller and the kids need to charge something or my wife needs to charge something. This is absolutely amazing. Um, tells you how much batteries in there. It's also got a little flashlight on it. You know, so it's, it's very useful. It's got two plugs on it so you can charge two items at one time. Absolutely amazing. Now the only item that you're not gonna see here is my phone which I'm using to record the video. Uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus, um, you know, just a regular phone, super important to have a cell phone on you. Uh, in case of an emergency, you need to have some sort of uh, communication with, uh, you know, family, uh, you know, law enforcement, anybody. Uh, on top of that, you know, having access to Google Maps, uh, you know, your current location and so forth, super important to have a good phone that, that you know, is going to be behind you as much as you're behind your family. Um, how do I protect it? I protected it with this cell phone case. I've been using this brand cell phone case for the past five years. Um, it's the Tech 21. It's got some, uh, some D3 3O material on the inside that kind of helps with the impact should you drop your phone or whatever. Uh, it's a great phone. It's very simple. I've dropped my phone a bunch of times, never broken the screen, and I hope I don't. Uh, this little thing that you see back here um, is just a pop socket. Uh, super useful in case of an emergency. It's really easy to get your hand behind the phone and you can record, and this kind of eliminates you uh, from having the possibility of dropping your phone in the case of, a, of an emergency or if you're driving. Um, anything of that nature, you know, you can also use it as a stand for your phone. Um, you know, super good, super cheap. It was 10 bucks. My wife has one too on her phone. Um, my car keys, two sets of car keys and my house keys and my parents' house keys. Uh, you know, I drive a Chevy Suburban, you know, so I'll probably do a video on that and what I carry in my truck on a day-to-day -day basis as well at some point, if you guys are interested in that. Um, behind that, I have my G-Shock. Now, this watch I've had for, or this, this, this exact model watch I've had for about six years, okay? Um, it's been absolutely amazing. This is a military edition. Um, geez, I don't remember the, the model now. Um, if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Um, super rugged. It's, it goes diving with me. Uh, you know, I take this fishing. I take this everywhere I go. This watch is with me. Unless I'm visiting clients, which I usually wear a dress watch, um, this is the watch that I take with me. Um, I love it. It's, you know, it's got the, the, the digital clock. It's got, you know, a regular clock on there, um, timer, world clock, the whole nine yards. You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You can tell, you know, I mean, it's got scratches all over it. This watch has been to hell and back. In fact, I had another one just like this and my golden retriever got a hold of it and uh, she destroyed the band, but the watch itself was perfectly fine. Nothing happened to it. So, and uh, she destroys everything. All right. Um, over here, this was a, a gift that I got last year for Christmas from a family member. Um, you don't understand how useful it is to have a multi-tool. I don't care what multi-tool it is. I don't care how expensive it is. Um, this is just a Leatherman Skeletool. Um, I think back then, I think it was like 30 bucks when she, uh, when she bought it for me for Christmas. Um, and this thing goes with me everywhere. It doesn't matter where I go, it goes with me. You know, unless there's a metal detector that won't allow me to take it in there, it goes with me. I mean, you can see it's got rust on it because I left it on my boat with salt water all over it. And all I did was bring it home, put, put it in some CLR, and it cleaned right up. I put a little bit of lube on there, and it's amazing. Um, it's got a knife on there. Uh, it's got a uh, 
Phillips head screwdriver bit, small and large. Uh, it's also got a flat head bit down here, small and large. Uh, it's got a bottle opener right here, and it's got a carabiner on it, so you can, you know, put it in any bag. Now, the one thing that I loved about it was the fact that it came with a pocket clip, okay? Absolutely amazing. Get one. It doesn't matter what it is, this thing, I'm telling you, anywhere I go, I, I'm a very detail-oriented individual, and I walk into somebody's house, and if they're obviously rel related to me, close family or friend and I see an issue with the house where let's say a kitchen door is hanging loose and they may not be as handy as they'd like to be I can walk in there and if I had this on me I'm taking care of it for them uh, sink anything it's I'm telling you super useful um, I work in the financial industry so I always need some sort of writing tool um, these are amazing pens you know uh, I'm not gonna say that they're super expensive they're not you know the best pen it's not you know, uh, anything to, to write home to home, write to mom, you know, write home to mom about, but it's an, uh, you know, it's a great pen. It's never let me down. You know, they're cheap enough. I always have, you know, a pen with me next is my wallet, you know, credit cards, cash, whatever this uh, little thing, which uh, as ridiculous as it is, you know, it's always good to have something sharp with you. Whether it's to open a piece of mail, um, this was a gift to me from a friend. In fact, the same friend that gave me the um, the battery for the uh, my vape thing. Um, very useful. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not. This is not something that I would use to potentially protect myself unless I had nothing. Um, you know, but even then, I'd probably stab somebody with a pen before I'd use this. You know, but to open a letter, if I don't have anything with me and I don't have my my multi tool, I don't have uh, access to anything else. You know, it's it's in my wallet. I have access to it. Um, you know, it's it's fairly useful. Um, you know, uh, let's see here. Um, my belt. Okay, I've had this belt for about six years now too. Um, it was an Amazon buy. I think when I bought it, it was like 12 bucks, you know, it's a plastic buckle, which is great. You know, sometimes I travel a lot and I take a lot of flights and it's nice to wear a belt that you don't have to take off when you're going through TSA at the airport. Um, it's a thick belt, you know, it's, it's not super rigid. I don't hang 15 pounds worth of gear on my belt. Like I said, this is a simple man's everyday carry. I don't carry, you know, flashlights and, and all sorts of uh, repelling equipment and, and all that stuff. This is just a regular nylon webbing belt. I've had it for six years. It's, you know, it's been with me through everything. And it's great. You know, it's, it's thick enough to where it doesn't really fold too much. Um, you know, and I wear it every single day. I, I don't have any other belt aside from leather ones that I use when I'm wearing suits for work or, you know, I'm dressing up or I'm wearing a leather belt. Uh, this is the belt that I'm wearing always, you know, anybody that knows me knows my belt. Um, you know, I think it was, like I said, 12 bucks. It's a UTG brand. Um, it's Velcroed on the inside. Uh, the one thing that, that sold me on this belt was obviously the quick disconnect buckle. But a lot of the belts that you see out on the market, they have the Velcro on the outside of the belt. This one has it on the inside, which makes it very nice for when you, um, like me, I carry inside my waistband, okay? I have a uh, uh, appendix tuckable holster. When you're wearing this belt, the nice thing about it is since this Velcro strap comes in on the inside, when I put the clip uh, from my holster through on the inside of my pants, I put it in between the two so it's not sticking out on the outside. So it's not something that anybody's ever going to see, especially when I'm tucking in a shirt or a polo for work. You cannot see the clip from my holster, you know, and that's one of the things that, that why everything on here is dark, you know. Yes, they offer my firearm with a stainless steel slide. I didn't buy it because I felt like that's just it's it's calling more attention. Uh, you know, may, possibly through print through or maybe a color shirt that you're wearing black kind of tends to hide a little bit more Okay, which is why I have a black holster black watch. I don't like calling too much attention myself um, It's a great belt, you know, I mean you don't have to go out and spend 90 a hundred dollars on a belt You know, I have expensive belts and 
you know, it's not it's not all that it's cracked up to be. At the end of the day, you just need what works, okay? Um, Fossil wallet. This is a wallet my wife gave me a while back. It had a metal clip on here for money, um, but it kept ripping holes in my back pocket, so I took it off. Um, now, my holster. Uh, it's a Muddy River Tactical uh, Watchdog inside the waistband holster, okay? Now, when you guys are buying holsters, Make sure you do your research very well. I'm going to do a follow-up video about this holster. Um, I'm not a small guy. I'm a rather big guy. I weigh 225 pounds. I'm six feet, six foot tall. Um, you know, and there's an inherent issue that people need to be aware about, uh, especially when you're a new gun owner and you're out buying a, a, a holster. Uh, and if you're bigger or heavier set or you have, you know, a bit of a, a, of a belly like I do, uh, there's something that you need to be aware of, okay? Um, this holster's great. It's got great retention. Um, you know, it it locks in there perfectly fine. Does not fall out. Um, I like it because the belt clip is very sturdy. It's uh, one of the reasons why I like this holster was because um, it has an adjustable belt loop. And you can adjust the can which for me was super important and it needed to be tuckable because for work I wear a lot of polos and I tuck them in and I need to make sure that I have coverage okay um, and I wear this appendix which is very you know very tight down here down at the bottom a lot of holsters you see them are very wide which aren't very conducive um, you know so at the end of the day it's what works for me and I'll, I'll make a follow-up video on this particular holster so you guys know what to look for when you're out buying a holster for your weapon, okay? Now, the part that everybody loves to talk about is a firearm, all right? Let me go ahead and get over on the other side of the camera. All right, so this is the, uh, it's been safety checked. Both of the magazines are out, okay? Uh, this is a Springfield Armory XD Mod 2 and 45 ACP. All right, um, I've been to the shooting range a couple of times with it. I've put about 400 rounds through the through the gun. Um, not a single fail, nothing to to discriminate against this gun. There's been no issues, fires every single time. I put a bunch of different boxes of ammunition through it, from cheap stuff to expensive stuff, and it's fired every single time. Um, you know, I, I like the way Springfield Armory does their stuff. You know, this came highly recommended to me by my brother-in-law. Who happens to uh, have been in the military um, and uh, you know he carries a XDS uh, 9 millimeter on a daily basis and he recommended that I look into Springfield Armory and when I saw this I fell in love with it now a lot of people say 45 is overkill 45 is too much the recoil is too bad listen at the end of the day this is a gun to protect me and my family um, you know this is a gun that I, I purchased because I felt that I needed it um, you know, it felt very good in my hand. A problem with the single stacks, such as the, uh, the, uh, Smith and Wesson MMP shield, the grips are so small. I have large hands. The grips are so small that when you grab, grip the gun and you go to pull on the trigger, if you notice my finger would get a cramp whenever I would pull back because the grip was so small. So those are the sort of things that you need to be aware of when you're out purchasing a firearm. You need to make sure that it fits your grip well. Um, you know, this gun is super easy to maintain, super easy to, to take down field strip. Um, the trigger pull is great. You know, I, I can't complain about it. It's, it's very comfortable. You know, the reset is not bad. Um, and it's been absolutely great. Now, the whole reason why I got the 45 over the 9, I've always been about the adage, uh, you know, bigger bullet has more stopping power. There is some truth to that. I'm not going to say that it's always the most effective because at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to get hit by a 380. I wouldn't want to get hit by a 22. I wouldn't want to get hit by a 9, a 40, a 10, a 45. I, any one of those bullets, you get hit by it, it's going to hurt or put you down permanently. Um, I went with the 45 simply because with this particular model, with the 45, I have nine round capacity with the flush mag, which I've ordered the uh, Pierce uh, pinky extension for this particular mag I need it. I have large hands. And then with the extended mag, which I carry with me all the time, I have 13. Obviously, both of these mags plus one. So I'd have 14 with this one if I carry it with one in the chamber or this one, which is nine plus one if I carry it with one in the chamber. 
you know, it's a great gun. It's what works for me. You need to find what works for you. It's got to be simple. It's got to be easy. It's got to be something that you want to take pride in having on you at all times. You know, the worst thing that could ever happen is that you be in a situation where you need to protect yourself and you can't. And then you're relying. And I've never been the sort of individual to be reliant on other people or reliant on, on external help. You know, I like to be self-sufficient. If anybody, if any of you know who I am, you know that I'm a very self-sufficient individual. And I would expect the same for anybody else. Now, with that, you also have to be, you know, very careful in, you know, watching your surroundings and making sure that you're not causing harm to anybody else that may not be necessarily affected by what's going on to you. Meaning, you know, your impacts, although there's somebody trying to, to do harm to you, could affect another individual. So you have to always be careful of that. Now, you know, I watch out for everybody. You know, I'm a, I like to help people. Um, I'm not going to go too much further into detail about this sort of thing. But I just wanted to, to get basically put a video out, start my YouTube channel back up, let you guys know what a simple uh, EDC carry could be for you. Super inexpensive stuff. I mean, yeah. I, I wait to save my money to buy the stuff that I like, you know, a G-Shock, 100 bucks, glasses, 180 bucks, 200 bucks, you know, a Skeletal, 30 bucks, you know, I know that I spend 30 bucks on dumber things than I would if I had something that were actually useful, you know, you can go to McDonald's and spend $45 eating garbage when you can actually go out and buy an item that can actually be productive and helpful for you, all right? Um, so, you know, I'd like some feedback from you guys. If you have any questions, you know, please let me know in the comments below. Send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you um, and explain anything to you. Uh, if you have any feedback for me, anything that you think I could improve on or anything you think I can add or subtract from my everyday carry, please leave it down in the comments below. I'll also be more than happy to take that into advice, into account. And, you know, another thing I forgot to mention is the Shemag. This thing, I always have it with me. Always. It's always in my truck or it's always in my bag. Um, I always have it with me. Believe me when I tell you this is more useful than you would ever imagine. Yeah, you can create a tourniquet out of it. You can, you know, stop somebody's bleeding. You can make... My wife gets cold very quickly and very easily. She uses this. My kids, same thing. Same thing. Great. You know, it's... it's, it's it doesn't create much of a, a thing to carry. Just have it with you. So... Thank you guys very much for watching my video. I'm going to try to put up some more videos. If you have, like I said, any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And I hope you guys have a, a great day uh, and a wonderful new year. And uh, thanks for watching my video. Bye.